Shivangi, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a tutorial of this particular look. This is a cool toned glamorous makeup look and as always all the links of all the products which I'll be using to create this look will be mentioned in the description box below. Now without further ado, let's begin. Starting off with the primer as always, I'll be using NYX Honey Dew Me Up Primer. Next for concealer, I'll use L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in the shade 312 Amber. For foundation, I'll use LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation in the shade Nude Beige. Next, I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder to set my base. After that, I'll use Hula Bronzer to lightly contour my cheekbones and my jawline. To fill in my eyebrows, I'll use Benefit Goof Proof Eyebrow Pencil in shade number 5. Alright, now let's get to the eyeshadow. I quickly finished the base because honestly I just wanted to jump to the eyeshadow bit as soon as possible. Anyway, I don't do anything different in base as such. If you want a more detailed version of my base, you can literally check out any of my past tutorials. I explain each and every step whenever I'm doing my base. This time, I skipped that. For today's eyeshadow, I'll be using this beautiful palette. It's Lime Prime Venus Immortals. I'll first dig into this shade from the palette and apply it on my crease. This is actually the shade which we are going to build the most on our crease and lower lash line. I'm going to walk you through this. So I'm starting off with applying it on my crease. I'll build this color slowly guys since this is a darker color if I hurry this up then there is a possibility of it becoming patchy and the blending is going to be harder so you have to do it slowly keep moving the brush in a circular motion while you're doing this Next, I'm going to take this shade from the palette and with the help of my ring finger, I'm going to apply it all over my eyelid. I 
I have applied the shimmery shade, but I want to intensify the shine and the foiled effect of the shade. So I'm going to take a wet brush as well. I have wet it with a little bit of setting spray and I'm going to again take the shade on an eyeshadow brush and just use this wet brush one more time on top of my eyelid. All right, so this is good enough for now. I'm going to again go back to that darker shade which we applied on the crease and we'll start cleaning up the crease. Your hand pressure needs to be extra, extra light for this particular step. So my hand movement is a mix of rotating the brush and also moving it like this, like in windshield motion. After this is done, I'm going to take a fluffy brush and run it through my crease. All right, after this is done, we'll get to the lower lash line. And now you need to focus a little bit, okay? So I will apply the shade halfway through my lower lash line. And I'm going to take that line all the way up till here. Okay, I'll just show you how. Once I have this half line, I'm going to take it all the way up like this and once we have this in place we're going to blend this line on the outer corner of the eyelid the main idea behind this was i did not want a lot of deeper shade on my eyelid on the outer corner of my eyelid i just wanted a little bit to create a wing sort of a thing on the outer corner Also, it's, it's important to blend the shade on the lower lash line. Now what I'm going to do is, so this line we have here, right, I'm going to connect it with my crease, just on the corner. With a very light hand, I'm connecting it to my crease. So you see we've got this wing sort of a thing on the outer corner of the eyelid now. Now again just to ensure there's no patchiness going on anywhere and the look is clean, I'm going to take a fluffy brush and run it through my crease again. I'm especially focusing on this outer area where we connected this line and the crease. I'm just scratching my crease with the brush right now. After we have all this in place, I'm going to take this lighter shade from the palette and this I'm going to apply over here. This is the inner corner of my crease. I'm blending it nicely with the other shade that we applied on the crease. Lastly, I'm going to take this silver shade from the palette and this I'll apply in the inner corners of my eyes. Next, before the application of falsies, I'll apply one coat of mascara. I'll use NYX Worth the Hype Mascara. Now, I'll quickly wear false lashes off camera and come back. The details of the false lashes will be mentioned in the description box below. The false lashes are on, now moving on to blush. For blush, I'm using MAC Cosmetics Gingerly Blush. Next for highlighter, I'll use Becca Opal Highlighter. First, I'm going to highlight my brow bone with this highlighter. And now I'll highlight all the high points of my face. I'm actually obsessed with this highlighter guys, it is so good. I've 
literally been using it in almost all my looks. Lastly, for my lips, I'll use MAC Top with Brandy. And with that, we've come to an end of this tutorial, guys. This is the final look. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this tutorial. And if you're not following me on Instagram, then ensure that you do. I keep posting a lot of makeup-related content on my Instagram handle as well. I'll pin all the links in the pinned comment of the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed to our channels already, then please subscribe to our channels. We've got three channels, Hindi, English and Bengali, and your support would mean the world to us the channel links are also going to be in the pinned comment so definitely check it out and if you like our content then please hit that red button that's it from me for today guys i shall see you in the next one bye bye Mwah.